What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anthony's Takes. We're joined by me, Santino. <laughs> Who's me? All right, so everyone knows my name. We're gonna name. give you our Ready Player One movie review right here and right now. Um, I'm gonna try. And, well, I know I am. I'm not gonna talk spoilers. Hopefully, you don't know how to not talk about spoilers. So I do know how. Uh, let me do all the talking until I say it's okay for them to, um... <clears throat> spoiler alert! Yeah, I'll give a spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie. First, I'm gonna just give my review, and then uh, I'll let you know when we're gonna talk spoilers. And, uh, you can go ahead and cut it off, and then come back when, and watch the rest of the video when uh, you're good and ready. So, uh... We went. We both went into this movie. Um, I haven't read the book. He hasn't read the book uh, by Ernest Cline, and he, uh, I was I was, was definitely recommended by a couple of friends of mine. Yeah, you gotta read the book. It's so so good. Um, the way it references everything. Uh, me being being born in 1985, I grew up on a lot of stuff that they referenced in this movie. The music, the soundtrack that was in this movie was like just uh, spot on. Uh, all of the references to movies, uh, video games, uh, cartoons, pop culture, animation, movies. anything. I already said that. <laughs> but, horror movies. Yeah, horror movies. Uh, Chucky. Was, Chucky was in it. Saying you're spoiling. Dad. Okay, yeah. He was in a trailer. Okay. So. Yeah. But so it's what not if, spoilers. What if, what if people don't like to watch trailers because of spoilers? <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, really good movie. Um, but Chucky, um, very good story. Was a go ahead, go. Chucky was a character. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> no, the way Chucky was was he what he was trying to say, but he stopped himself. Chucky was used in a very good way to where. Um, yeah. No, it's <laughs> spoiler time. Okay, Chucky. No, no, it's Chucky. Not. Chucky is. It's not. It's for the video, what you just said, I'm gonna edit out. Huh. And I'll, oh, I'll probably put it later on in the video. He's this guy. No control. So, um, yeah. A lot of the references, like I said, is really good. I didn't re notice any bad words. He said yeah. there was a lot of bad words. Uh -huh. The S word, you said? S-H word. Okay. So how many times did you hear that? Like a bunch of times. Two times. Almost the whole movie. I can't. Almost the whole movie? Two times, almost the whole movie. So that's more than two times. No, I, I didn't just... say two times. I said more oh. than, I said like a bunch of times. Mm. Yeah. But what would you want them to say when they're in trouble? No. <laughs> Shucks. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So from the get go, you know, you're brought into this world of the oasis. Of Something that was created by someone named James Halliday, and uh, in in an effort to escape your reality back in the in the future, which is um, twenty. He created the game in twenty twenty with I forgot his name, but the Simon Pegg plays his uh, his sidekick uh, that created it, and uh, things unravel, and um, Can you he, he ends up switch? he ends up passing away. And uh, creates this this competition to where the first person to uh, find these three keys will be able to control the oasis. Um, and it was pretty much it was a really good twist at the end to where um, you know in the beginning he said you know you'll be able it's to, spoiling to time? In, no not yet oh. inherit. Um, like Why are you 30, billion, Thirty million dollars or whatever the amount of money it was. The control of the oasis, that the, you're the main shareholder or um, the, you're the chairman of the uh, company that created the game. I can't remember the name of the company right now. So they have to find three keys that lead to a golden egg and will eventually uh, be the prize. And basically, um, that's you know you're given the inheritance of the company and of course this movie was directed by Steven Spielberg and you can tell by the chase sequences that are in this movie um, 
the characters that shift in and out of the screen, the the machines and the uh, the vehicles that are used are just you know all of the action that takes place inside of the oasis is uh, just amazing. Just now, I, I'm one of those people that think that 3D watching a movie in 3D in the theater is just overrated. Um, I did used to enjoy it, but it just got a kind of got mind numbing. Uh, after a while so and especially with this guy sometimes uh, there would be some movie premieres we went to I believe it was Force Awakens and maybe one of the one of the big Marvel movies that we got to see it in IMAX and but this guy he uh, his eyes would really get watery and then he'll start rubbing his eyes and then his eyes start burning because his hands are dirty or whatever the hell happened that one time so, buttery, buttery, buttery. oh, you probably, yeah, you had butter on your fingers from the popcorn or something, and he's rubbing his eyes, and his eyes started burning, so, like, <laughs> I think that was, I think that was probably for Rogue One or something. No, I, yeah, no. saw it in IMAX. Yeah, yeah. that one too, so, and, no, I don't think Rogue One, I think it's Captain America Civil War. Maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah really? So, we pretty much stay away from 3D, uh, because of that, uh, with his eyesight, and, um, so, you know, we saw it. I would have loved to see... This is definitely probably one of those movies I would probably definitely want to see again in 3D. Uh, probably the XD. Um, just to just to get that experience, you know. But, um, yeah, but either way, you know, even in the standard uh, digital, it was really good. Uh, he enjoyed it a lot. He had a lot of laughs. He got a lot of the jokes, uh, references to... You know, he he popped, he pumped out of his jumped out of his seat sometimes when he seen someone that he he recognized from a video game or a certain movie. You know. Uh, yeah, I saw who are you. Yeah, yeah, you did. I, I saw that too. But they only showed his back. He was walking. He yeah. was like walking in between the cars, and um, yeah, he was just walking in between the cars. But he didn't really have that much of a big uh, a big spot in the movie. What would you rate this movie out of five stars? Five. Five out of five from Santino. Okay. I would have to say four and a half. Why? I would have to say, well, you know, I did hear somewhere that the movie, it is a little bloated and different from the novel. Uh, what is it? Uh, I'm not sure what the differences are, but like, you know, it's probably because in the novel, I'm not sure what's in the novel and what's not in the novel. So, but you know, with this being a movie about pop culture, and I'm like, oh, what pop culture, know, dude? Pop culture, like things that are popular, like Star Wars, Ghostbusters, uh, PS4, games, yeah, yeah video games, laptops, movies, no, video comic games, books, movies, like, yeah, comic yeah books. books, stuff like Transformers, that. Transformers, Nintendo Switches. Toys. Yeah. <laughs> Not Nintendo Switch. This, but why? Nintendo Switch. Sucks. How? So. And why um, is it three three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or five? It is. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's a lot. I'd rather have a PS4. The games are better. The God of War isn't gonna come out on Switch. Why would it? It's really them. That's true. Nintendo always <laughs> never has rated M games. Anyway, yeah, back, teen games. back to the movie. Okay. Oh, this is probably too. The <laughs> back to the movie. Um, yeah, you would think you know there would be references to either Star Wars or yeah. I did see a quick reference to Star Trek at uh. No, well, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, spoil it. It's a spoiler no. time. Okay, so <laughs> my the, my review is four out of five. So go see the movie. It's really good. Take your kids. Take your girl, take your man. Why? Take Why take you know. kids? This boy in this bad words. No, but it's still a good experience, even with those How? few S words. It's PG 13, right? Yeah. It's not like it was rated R just because of a couple S words. So, that is our review. review. Go ahead and cut it off if you don't want to hear spoilers. Cause I don't want spoilers. Yeah, we're going to talk spoilers. So, yeah. thank you for watching the first half of this video. Come back when you do see the movie. So, spoiler talk. I wish, I wish there was uh, Avengers. Yeah, movie. like references yeah, to... Everybody has except for the Avengers. Yeah, the, I, we saw the Ninja Turtles. We saw 
Freddy Krueger. We saw Chucky. We saw. You sh no, Chucky Iron. wasn't. Is is this spoiler time? Yeah, spoiler. Okay, talk. go ahead the, and say what you need to say. Chucky is not is not is not kept. Yeah, he ended. It, he ends up getting used. Like, if you ever play video games, he ends up getting used like as a we as a weapon, as yeah. an expendable like, weapon. Like when you when you're playing like Call of Duty or something, and let's say a grenade is thrown, or you can choose whether you want to use a grenade or a rocket launcher. They were able to choose Chucky <laughs> as a weapon. And just throw Chucky at someone, and Chucky would just kill was just all go, of the go, yeah, kill was, all the people. He, was, he had like a knife and was just jumping from person he's to person, to kill, stabbing. And he's people. trying to try to kill like you know, the person that was you remember the guy that was holding him, trying to throw it. He was trying. I to think cut, so. Yeah. yeah he was trying to kill him. Yeah. Kill. So um, yeah, so we saw Chucky. It's, Who else we saw? The, it's like a grenade, but it's Chucky. Yeah, the Iron Giant. Um, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and from time to time you hear oh. you hear the little from that you always hear in the Back to the Future movies, the little the little jingle that happens at certain points of the movie. Also, also on Mega Godzilla. Oh yeah, Mega Godzilla. I, uh, Gundam. If you're a big fan of Gundam. Who's Gundam? The, um, it's an anime that uh, was really popular. I think in Tokyo. And um, they pretty they they look like transformers basically. Oh. Um, here I'll show you right here. This was him. Remember in the final battle? No, it wasn't eight. No, it was like the little eleven-year-old kid, right? No, or was it wasn't. The other guy. The other guy. Yeah, the other. Like the, the guy samurai, that took the samurai guy. Yeah, and um, and he stick the middle finger to the. Yeah. 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 Right. See this okay. this middle finger. Um, yeah. So um. I don't know why nowadays they have middle fingers in some PG-13 <laughs> movies. Times are changing, man. Times are changing. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely a lot of references that I loved. Oh, The Shining. <laughs> oh yeah. Played, that played a huge. Like it's he hasn't seen The Shining, but like he kept. But like, if I do know the part when he said, "Hey." Yeah, he's it's Johnny. Oh, it's, he's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Yeah, so I had to explain to him like, oh. It's and about... the, I those twins, like you know, holding yeah, the hands. twin girls. Oh, you know that part? Oh, the twin yeah. girls. You've seen that before? No. Oh. Okay. Only in, in the Angry Birds movie. Angry Birds? Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh yes. That was in the Angry Birds movie. They made a reference to The Shining. Yeah, but instead the pigs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see that. What the heck? Um, yeah. So, yeah, The Shining had a big part in it. They were in, the, they the, were blood, in the hotel. And, and the blood the, coming out of the elevator. The, why was um, the blood? It should be. It should because be. I was actually in The Shining. Um, it was like. It should be where they all Jack Nicholson's then. like. It should be where they all then. If there's a lot of blood. Well, it was fake digital blood oh. for Ready Player One. Oh. But no, trust me, The Shining is rated R. The real Shining movie. So, um... Yeah, the Why way is I, it rated R? Because there's only... It's a horror movie, and there's always... There's a lot of blood and, like, uh, you know, creatures in it. Um, Why is there creatures in it? Because it's about a, a hotel that's haunted. Why would the people just move out? Because they, Jack Nicholson's character was getting, you know... Uh, brainwashed, or he was just being manipulated by the ghosts in the mansion. So why wouldn't he just move and out? And they were, they were, no, they were there because they were, they were taking care of it, right? They were hired to take care of it or watch over it or something like that over the winter. Or they got stuck there somehow. And then so, uh, the ghosts that were in the hotel started to really mess with their heads. Especially Jack Nicholson's head, and made made Jack Nicholson go crazy. And, uh, in real life. Hmm? In real life. Oh, a movie. His character, whatever his character was. Um, Johnny. No, John. He just said, "Here's Johnny," because he's referencing Johnny Carson. Who's Johnny Carson? The late night talk show host that's long gone. Um. Yeah. So Ready Player One. It was really good. We I wonder it. why that sense wasn't in the movie. What? What? The part when he says he is Johnny. 
why that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. I don't know. No, they were, they, they were just, yeah, they were just in the, in the movie. Uh, why would they in the movie to get the key? Yeah, I remember they went to the hotel because that was where they found the first key, right? Or was that the second key? The second key. Yeah, the first key was uh, Late, the in the race, the fish, finishing the race going backwards. Yeah, so I really enjoyed that, how um, you had to get three keys. But I wonder, th this question was going through my head about this, where, okay, what if... Uh, what is the main character's name? Oh, what if Wade Watts got the first key, but then someone else got the second key other than, um, what was the girl's name again? Samantha. Other than Samantha. Um, what if Samantha didn't get that second key, would, you know, how would they figure out who the winner was if the same person didn't get all three keys, you know what I mean? So, but, um, Samantha does get the second key, and then she just gives it to um, Wade uh, because they're you know they're working together on it anyway. So yeah, and, and Wade's um, friend. Yeah, yeah. So they, they were friends, and you know they ended up. They didn't know in real life. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, they finally meet at the towards the middle. Uh, they meet in the real world, so it's a pretty good story about. The dangers of catfishing online. What's catfishing? Like, uh, no, because remember that part where um, they were in the oasis and she was like, no, don't give me your real name, like, or something like that. And she also said, oh, how do you know I'm not some 400 pound man instead of, you know, being a girl? That's what she said? I think that's what she said. Yeah. Oh, no, that was... Yeah, because you don't know who no, you can no, trust no, 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 in no, the game. No, it was um, Wade's uh, friend, not, not oh, the yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wade's friend, that was this big, huge creature, this dude. But then, when he meets the real person, it was actually uh, a female that was, you know, his best friend the whole time online in the Oasis. Uh, I keep saying online. Um, Sounds so, like... Um, Actually, it is online. Maybe it is. Let's see. But some, but the voice on in the Oasis sounds like it was a boy. Yeah, yeah, it changed the voice, huh? Yeah. And like, uh, Wade Watts' character had the same voice in the Oasis, and so did Samantha's character. Uh, uh -huh. What else are we gonna talk about? About spoilers. Yeah, that very first chase scene was uh, something to behold with, uh, you know, uh, King Kong was, you know, chasing the cars and hitting them and everything. Trying to, like, make them stop them? Yeah, uh, then the T-Rex. Uh, what else popped up? Oh, those wrecking balls that were, you know, just trying to stop everyone from... At E.T.? No, how... Oh, he had to go. Yeah, the, he had, to, he had go to go backwards. Because of the clue that said something, the clue that that gave him that hint to how to beat it. Uh, because in the uh, when he King Kong him. wasn't letting anyone get past him uh, at that bridge where it was broken. So uh, yeah, that was how he, he was. You know, it was. Fi it's been five years when we first meet everyone. It's been five years since the death. Of Halliday, oh, and, and since he made the the competition live, and the, oh, the the scoreboard is empty, there's nobody who had even a clue to the first clue or to get the first key, and Wade was the first one to break that. Well, also um, um the people that uh, that was that was protecting Wade, mm -hmm. okay, not the pants, but the people that was protecting. Oh, his him? friends. No people. He's like. His dad and mom, his fake mom and dad. Oh, his aunt and her boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah. What about them? They died, yeah. <laughs> they died. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of sad. Uh, Wade, Wade's aunt and her and his dickhead boyfriend. boyfriend. Hey, Wade. That 
kind of deserved. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I also got that. They had that what word. Part? Oh. They had that part. They yeah. said that word. Uh huh. Well, I think they did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Wade said that too. And he to, went to to um to that to guy. that guy. Yeah. Yeah, because he was. Me. Yeah. Excuse it's me. pretty funny. Um, and the aunt was gonna kick him out because he was wearing. Really Oh, because he took her gloves, and then that made him use Wade's gloves, and he blamed his his losing in the race uh, on Wade's gloves, <laughs> and you know he wasn't gonna win anyway, but he just took it out on Wade. Why? He, because, no, because remember how you said if you lose, you can lose all your money or all of your all of your assets. You can lose your house. You can lose everything if you lose in in the oasis remember that uh -huh. and so that's why you know she almost started to cry because all of their savings that they were saving in the real world to move to uh, another home a better home than where they live which is in, um, in the stacks um, they were gonna just be stuck there because all the money was lost because it was you know it was lost by the uncle why was he going to by being in the race why was he gonna get kicked out? No, she, the aunt threatened to kick both of them out. Why? Because of, um, because he, he took her gloves. Oh. <laughs> the, the gamer gloves. So, yeah, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg did a real good job directing this, bringing this novel to life. Uh, but now that I've seen this movie, now it really does make me want to read the book just to see what the differences were. Um, same thing happened when I when I saw the Hobbit movies. It made me want to go read the Hobbit. And you do was, have the Hobbit. Yeah, I read it already. Uh, really? Before, before the. I never saw you read it. Before the second movie came out, I read it. Um, uh, yeah, it's right here. On my books, I never and comics. I've got the leather bound. Mahogany edition. He won't let me. He won't let me pages. touch it. I'll know. let you read it if you want. You really no, want to read? No, well, well, four years old, I can. Oh yeah, touch when it. you were four, yeah, because you're just. Being, <laughs> yeah, it's a real. It's got a little. Little worth. Yeah. Like yeah, and it's really funny because when I would read this in public or something, people would think I'm reading the Bible. It was really funny, because the the way the the edges of the pages are gold. I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, or even I was on break at work. Oh, you're reading the good book, huh? I was like, oh, if you want to call it that, yeah. The Hobbit. <laughs> no, but I noticed when reading this, a lot, I mean, Peter Jackson, he, <laughs> he did a lot to stretch one book into three movies. Um, and it was funny how the original trilogy of Lord of the Rings, each book was a movie right and but they they still came out with uh, those extended editions that, that made the movie even longer to like almost what four hours each movie sometimes what's the ex three hours what's the extended it's a longer version of the the movie uh, that didn't come out to theaters mm. yeah why are you picking your nose on camera i don't know why could it why would it be four hours it's too long I know, but it could be three so hours. It, they they page for page shot every scene in in the books, but a lot of it didn't make it to the big screen and just went out on the how many the extended how many hours was in the whole hobby? I don't know. Yeah, see, I, I only got the first Hobbit movie in my collection. I never got the second or the third one. I just, I went to go see it in the movie theater, the second and the third one, but I never put them in my collection. I thought you had the third one. I never rewatched it. I thought you had the third one. I have the, the Lord of the Rings movies, one, two, and three. You have the Hobbit. Yeah, I have the first Hobbit. I thought you, I thought you had the third one. But then there's two other movies. I thought you had the third one with the dragon. The dragon is in the second and the beginning of the third one, right? Yeah. I have the first Hobbit movie. The dragon comes at the end of the first one. Smog. <clears throat> um, Who's Smog? That's the dragon. Oh. Um, Does he talk? Yeah, he talks. Oh, the guy who plays uh, Doctor Strange, Strange plays his voice. I didn't know dragons could talk. 
Well, we're in the Hobbit, they do. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but hey, it was a good movie. But, um, yeah, they were... I noticed when reading the book that there was a lot in the book. No, there so, was now a... we, so now we're talking about the Hobbit? There was a lot in the movies that was not in the book. Peter mm -hmm. Jackson added. There was a couple of characters, like even, um, what was that guy's name? Gaston the Great. What was his name? Something. So oh. now we're talking about the Hobbit? Yeah, we're talking about the Hobbit on a Ready Player One movie review. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Ready Player One. We went off on a whole rant. Um, yeah, so it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. Steven Spielberg, good job. Uh, as Steven. always. Another great aspect of the movie was the villain, Ben Mendelsohn, who we know from Rogue One. Definitely a great actor. Um, he, he, he did good in this role. His character was just uh, the head of the corporation, the IOI, that was created for the simple purpose to uh, find the three keys in the oasis and um, take control of, you know, everything. Uh, and his main job was to do that. And um, I love the scene where he's got people who are knowledgeable of pop culture and everything in his earbud to try to make it seem like he, you know, he's not just a corporate puppet. You know that that which he is, and um, what's uh, it called? Puppet. And um, Wade pretty much calls him out on it, and doesn't get fooled. He was trying to use that, you know, as a tool, but <laughs> Wade wasn't stupid and he didn't fall for it. Then you see him take it out of his ear and like, yeah, whatever. That was you know, a nice try to try to get Wade to work for him once Wade uh, gets that first key. So, uh, that was something I really enjoyed. Yeah, so there is our review. Hopefully you enjoyed it, took a lot from it. Um, comment down below if you saw it and what you thought of it. And uh, go ahead and educate me on what was in the book if you read the book. Um, what Don't did you, spoil what it. Did you, no, what did you think, what were the differences? Tell me, you know, uh, what did they add or what did they take away from... from uh, the movie and the book. What were are the you, differences? Are you understand? trying to make them spoil it to you? No, but I'm gonna still read it anyway. But it's just you know. Don't do it. You spoil it. No, like. Don't no, do it, cause you could spoil it to my dad. Uh, he's not gonna read it. it. I'm gonna still read it, even if they tell me what happens in the book. Don't do I it. mean, if you see. I the, did. Do not do it. If you see the movie before reading the book. You pretty much are gonna know what to expect, unless there are major changes that they took well, out. Well, someone read the book and they saw the movie yesterday, huh? Huh? Then that's fine. I'm asking for their opinion. Stone Cold. No. Talking about that. All right. Yeah. So that's our movie review. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not. You don't mean no one likes you. Oh, we didn't know. The reason why he's in a rush is because his Nintendo Switch is staring at him over. Yeah. Please that to do. <laughs> this guy. If you did not like our movie review. No one likes you. Okay. Peace. I'm not about you, actually.